Let's go ahead and unbox it and give it a sniff, shall we? What's up, Stitch Gang? Welcome, welcome back to another video with The Stitch Life. Today, you guys have already read the title. You already know we're going to be demoing and reviewing. I'm gonna be sharing my first impressions of the newest Kiali fragrance, Kiali Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. So if you are interested in hearing what I have to say and hearing how I feel about the fragrance, definitely stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we start this video off, if you haven't already, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below. We have a new fragrance to review, so make sure you guys thumb this video up down below. Be sure to also subscribe down below if you haven't already to become part of the girl gang, which is the Stitch Gang. Join us on YouTube by subscribing and also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm on both platforms, same handle as my YouTube, at the stitch life and without any further ado let's get into it just in case anybody was wondering or whatever wearing my everyday makeup routine i do owe you guys an updated video showing you guys what my makeup routine looks like but updated makeup routine for foundation just in case anyone was wondering i am wearing the fenty beauty ease drop stick i'll leave my lip combo details down below earrings are coming from i want to say forever 21 my topics from berkshire and then just my jade ring that's really all for today's look so let's go ahead and get into the newest fragrance. I will also leave timestamps on the video. So if you want to skip through, even though I recommend watching it in full, if you want to skip through, you can feel free to do so. So Miss Mona, CEO of Kayali, recently launched their newest perfume. This is the Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. Literally, this came in the mail from Sephora and I was like, what the hell did I order from Sephora? And I was like, oh yeah, the new perfume. We have to do our makeup really quickly and demo it and share our first impressions for the gang. So here I am, it's still in the plastic. Literally, this is what it looks like. It's still in the plastic and it's pink. Oh, I'm very excited. So really quickly, I wanted to get into the notes, the inspiration behind the fragrance, and then we'll, you know, unbox and smell it. And I'll share, you know, how I feel about it. So once again, this is Kayali's Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. I mean, it took 39 takes for them to get it right, for them to get the scent that they wanted, to get the scent that they thought that we would enjoy. This falls under the floral fragrance family, scent type fruity florals. Key notes include sparkling lychee, rose damascena, vanilla absolute. It also has notes of tart black currant, candy, violet sugared amber sensual musk but on the package it does share the key notes so on the package it reads that it has black currant sparkling lychee rose damascena candied violet sugared amber and sandalwood see we missed sandalwood but it is on the box so I just want to read the fragrance description this is coming straight off of Sephora's app it says that Eden sparkling lychee 39 is a radiant and cheerful fruity floral fragrance featuring a beautiful blend of luscious lychee tart black currant candied violet opens with fruity notes at the heart a bouquet of flirty florals and as it dries down warm notes of sugared amber sweet vanilla and sensual musk create a long-lasting and alluring scent trail about the fragrance so miss mona was inspired by eden juicy apple which i also own that is really good i actually just finished it but she was inspired by that fragrance to create this one. So, so she wanted to create a fragrance that that exude playfulness and joy. And lychee was chosen as the main fruit to represent this feeling and the spirit of the Eden collection. So, this is the second fragrance in the Eden collection. I'm assuming all the scents that are going to be in the Eden collection are going to be fruity and fun. So. Now that we got that out the way, I did go ahead and pick up the, the big body. Is this the biggest body? This is not the biggest body, this is the 1.7 ounce. Because I had so much faith and trust in Mona and the team, I just feel like this is gonna be a goodie. Like lychee in and a, and a perfume, I just feel like this is gonna be a goodie. I'm not gonna say it's probably the best time for her to launch that, being that we're you know heading into the winter months, but to each his own. Not everyone likes the warm, the gourmands, you know? So here we are, I picked it up, the big, almost big body let's go ahead and unbox it and give it a sniff shall we low air some off y'all This is she. Okay, I have to, I like have to get a thumbnail, duh. Period, okay. <laughs> I'm excited. So this is what the bottle looks like. This is La Bottle, signature bottle with the, 
diamond at the top i love the design of the kiali bottles but this is the bottle as you guys can see and then on the back i also like that they've started to add the notes so you can decide if you want to mix and match with some of the other kiali fragrances that may be in your collection i own almost all of them at this point um so yeah let's let's go ahead and get into it so i'm excited let's not wait any longer let's go ahead and pop the top a little ghetto but i do have a little piece of paper here so i'm going to spray it here first then i'm going to spray it on my body just to give it you know a true sniff Ooh, the opening is definitely giving fruity for sure oh that's nice oh it kind of smells like something i'm getting the current as well Okay, this is a great addition to the Eden collection, the new Eden collection. We didn't even know it was a collection. We just thought it was juicy apple. Now we're having, now we're getting new, for, now we're getting new scents that are going to be a part of that Eden collection. This smells really good. Okay, let's spray on our body. Let's let that dry down. I definitely got the current right at, at the opening. I also got a little bit of the lychee. Ooh, this smells different on my body though. Wow. I'm getting that rose. I'm definitely getting the rose. I'm getting the lychee as well. That rose is strong. I feel like one sprayed on my skin. A little bit of the amber as well. I'm not picking up any sandalwood, but I'm assuming maybe once it dries down. That smells really good. This is like going to be like a great fragrance for the spring. I feel like the girls that like the fruity, more floral scents will really enjoy this. If you're not like a gourmand girl, if you're not here for the warm scents, this is like right up your alley. Because it is fruity, it is sweet, it is floral. It's not giving gourmand, it's not giving winter fragrance at all. This paired with the juicy apple, I can see that being a tea. It's not overbearing, it's not super loud in my opinion. It's perfect for layering, but it can also be worn on its own. But I would love to layer it with the Eden Juicy Apple number one. That smells really good. Again, I'm not picking up any sandalwood. I'm not really even getting any sugared amber, but I am getting the candied violet. I'm getting the black currant, the lychee, and the rose. Candied violet, not so much, a little, a little dumbed down, but a lot of that rose the current and the lychee and I'm not even really getting any vanilla if I'm being 100% honest with y'all. I also think the lychee stands out a little bit more on the paper than on my skin but I do smell it on my skin. It's not an overbearing lychee scent but it is very fruity if that makes sense. If you're again into the fruity, into the fresh, the florals, this is up your alley. This, this, is, this is something that you would probably enjoy. But if you're more into the gourmands, the more edible scents, you're probably not gonna love this one that much unless you like enjoy some fruity scents. But this is great. I feel like for everyday wear, fresh out the shower will be good too. Spring and summer, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be the juice of that, the, those two seasons for me. Mixed with some of my other Cali faves for sure. But I like it. I do like it. It's this approved. Yeah, that is, that's nice. I can't even be mad at it. I can't even be mad at it. So sweet, short, and simple. That's really how I wanted to keep it. I want to just come on here and let you guys know how I felt about the newest. Once again, this is the Kiali Eden Sparkling Lychee 39. Let me know if you guys already picked this one up. Let me know if you guys are waiting on me to give y'all a review or waiting to watch a few reviews to decide if you wanted to get it or not. Let me know if I've convinced you. Let me know if this is not one that you're going to be picking up. I want to know down below. I really want to know down below because Kiali has released a lot of fragrances. But again, let me know if you guys are going to be picking it up or if you're going to be passing. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed today's video. Again, I wanted to make it nice, short, and sweet. If you did, be sure to leave your girl a thumbs up down below. Be sure to also subscribe down below if you've made it all the way to the end and you appreciated my content, appreciated this review, be sure to subscribe down below. Also, be sure to share this video with one of your friends that you would think this would help or share with a friend that you might want to pick this up for you, okay? It is the holiday season. This would make a great to gift. In my opinion, it's safe and not safe in the sense that and not safe in a sense like it's an easy fragrance. I just feel like a lot of people would enjoy the fragrance. So definitely share this video if you feel like it might help someone. And be sure to also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at The Stitch Life. And until the next time, I'll see you guys all later. Thank you guys so much again for watching. See you guys later. Bye guys.